Hello, I'm Dr. Mangala Devi. I'm the clinical director at Smile Baby IVF and the consultant at KC Raju Multi-Speciality Hospital. A cesarean section is a surgical procedure where a cut is made on the abdomen and on the uterus in order to deliver the baby. So this cesarean section may be done in a planned manner in which case it is called an elective cesarean section or sometimes when the laboring patient does not pull through and deliver, we have to do an emergency cesarean section. So the causes for this may be many. Some of them may be fetal or some of them may be related to the mother or maternal. The most common causes may be fetal distress where the baby might be in distress, its heartbeat may be increased or decreased or sometimes the baby may have passed motions within the womb in which case it may aspirate and may go into problems. So in these cases we may have to schedule a caesarean section. In some cases the causes may be due to the maternal part. So in this case the mother may be suffering from various chronic medical complications such as hypertension or diabetes. She may have long-standing genital herpes which is severe and covering the entire birth passage or she may be suffering from HIV or hepatitis B. Apart from this, the placenta or the afterbirth that we speak of may be covering the passage through which the baby comes out and may be covering the cervical os. This in turn may cause heavy bleeding if allowed to deliver normally. Sometimes there may be faults in the birth passage such as an obstruction due to tumours like fibroid or previous surgeries such as a caesarean section or a fibroid surgery that may be done on the uterus. The pelvis or the passage may be birth passage may be very narrow as well. So all these are causes why a normal delivery might not occur and why we might need to schedule a caesarean section. Thank you.